Otome visual novels may be a niche genre in the grand scheme of video gaming, but boy do they have their hardcore audience. If you don't know what an Otome visual novel is, then I'm personally wondering how you ended up here, because this ain't something you search for without knowing it's all about dating dudes. While there is often an overarching and more pressing plot concern, it's always a staple of Otomis to give the reader a handful of varied bachelors to try and get in with. You have thrillers, fantasies, slices of life, and of course, good old-fashioned romance. The Nintendo Switch is home to a plethora of fantastic AAA Otomis, and I'm here to take you through the best of them that money can buy right now. If you claim to be a fan of visual novels, then you definitely need to hit that subscribe button. Community, show your love for the written word by also hitting that bell notification to keep up with all the visual novel goodness that we can give you. I'm also giving away a physical copy of Lyrica 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch to one of you when we get to 1,000 subscribers. Don't worry, it's a rhythm game with visual novel elements. Let's start off with Buster Fellows. This is set in the modern day, in a bustling city that some may consider comparable to New York. Here we have our protagonist Tueta, a headstrong reporter going about her business in this complex and interesting plot that includes time travel and body swapping. After our heroine witnesses the murder of one of the bachelors, she delves back in time to try and prevent it. Here we have some fantastic, highly detailed background art of modern day life, and it finds the balance between romantic plot points and also crime thriller very well indeed. Buster Fellows is definitely one of the best Otomis around, especially on the Nintendo Switch. This is available physically and digitally on the eShop. Purchase links and eShop credit are down below in the description for all the games here, and by clicking those links, you can support this visual novel channel at the same time. We are not monetized, and it will be a very long time before we can be, so this is the best way to support us now. Nightshade is a premium Otomi visual novel, a historical one set just after the Sengoku period of Japanese history. If you've played video games before, you'll be pretty familiar with this era. Here we have a very serious Otomi that is a life and death drama. Our protagonist is a shinobi, or a ninja, daughter of the ninja clan's leader. She's looking to prove her worth, and he'll find some very high quality artwork, although it is hardly on the happy-go-lucky cheery side that some of you may enjoy from the genre. Expect some quality voice acting alongside the great art style, and you'll find yourself enjoying this journey through 1800s Japan. And hey, you may even get a shot at dating Hanzo Hattori, and who would not want that? On the Nintendo Switch, this is available digitally on the eShop, of course, but is also available physically, but only in Japan. The good thing is, is that the Japanese physical release has English, and will play on any Nintendo Switch console. If you want a physical version that you can keep forever, or have some resale value, then there are links below in the description as to where you can find it to import it and support us at the same time. There are three code realized games on the Nintendo Switch. The main game is Guardian of Rebirth. This is an incredibly highly rated Otome visual novel. Some may say it's one of the best of all time. Here, our heroine, Cardia, carries a deadly poison, not allowing her to touch a soul. Soon, she breaks free from her secluded life to find her missing father. This story is set in a steampunk world and features a handful of fictional period-based bachelors, from Victor Frankenstein to Arsene Lupin. Each character has a consistently well-written route, and you'll be struggling to find a favorite, although you have to go through all of them if you want to get to the true ending. If you're a fan of Otomis, then this is high on the reading list. It is available physically and digitally, and is highly recommended. It is a bit of a beast at more than 40 hours, so it definitely gives you some bang for your buck. Code Realize Future Blessings is the first fan disc to follow on from Guardian of Rebirth. If you're a PlayStation 4 gamer, you may be a little bit confused, as this was bundled with the main game and titled Bouquet of Rainbows. Everywhere else, though, it is known as Future Blessings as its own separate release. This contains after stories of the bachelors of the first game, as well as new stories with new romanceable roots for characters such as Sherlock Holmes. For those who love fan service, this was the almost perfect addition to the main game, as everyone's favorite bachelor gets an exceptional place in the spotlight to really tie up their story. According to fans, it's one of the best fan discs out there, and this is available digitally and physically, of course. But apparently, one fan disc was not enough. A second one was created and called Winter Tide Miracles. If you need even more closure to the endings of Guardians of Rebirth and Future Blessings, then here we are. This extra fan disc also contains epilogues for the new characters in the first fan disc, and even more side stories for new characters as well. I wonder if there will be a third fan disc for their epilogues also. 
Either way, if you've read the first two Code Realize games, then you might as well scratch this one off your list too. Its content may be a little bit jumbled, but you'll be spending more time with these great characters and enjoying the absolutely incredible artwork on show. Plus, now the characters wear Christmassy attire, which is pretty much worth it alone. This is also available physically and digitally. Kala X Malice is a very dark Otome visual novel. It is a story that gets darker and darker the more you play. The story stars Ichika, a police officer who is forced to wear a poisonous collar around her neck and blackmailed into investigating a certain case. This is a thriller and a half. With exciting roots, plenty of action and a mystery to solve, you'll be enjoying all 30 hours with this beast. There's some small elements of gameplay thrown in too. You have Ace Attorney type investigations and also a mini game where you fire your weapon and have to aim at the correct area in order to survive and progress the story. As long as you don't mind some overly serious tones to your romance, then this is essential. Thanks to the success of the original, a fan disc soon followed afterwards called Unlimited, released on the Nintendo Switch with, shall we say, some awkward localization issues. Yes, Axis were not at the top of their game with its original release, but now everything seems to be patched up. Regardless, onto the actual game itself, this is a decent enough fan disc, although perhaps not quite as essential as the main game. Here you have some rather saucy or implied saucy epilogues with The Bachelors Plus, a bunch of side stories and after stories. It is plenty of content to keep fans of the original very happy indeed. Pure Fury Fated Memories is a great mafia-based crime thriller that is not for the faint of heart. It contains many mature themes that some Otomi fans may want to shy away from such as violence and trafficking. It is pretty hardcore but also pretty badass at the same time. I've recently been interested in mafioso stuff, I find it absolutely fascinating and so this is a perfect Otomi for me if I enjoy dating dudes. This is a super long visual novel if you want to see all the endings in this story about three warring mafia families. Interestingly, while two are of Italian heritage, the third family has an interesting twist of being a branch of the Chinese mafia which is not something you would expect. There's some quality character designs here, although they don't exactly scream early 1900s Italian dudes. Not that I've seen many of those. Cafe Enchante is a fantasy infused Otomi with a name that really fits the bill, which for me is rather refreshing. Most Otomi visual novels are named at random, but this one, well, this one spells it out nicely. Here you are Kotone who takes over her grandfather's cafe in Tokyo, which is far more than meets the eye. Creatures from all manner of mystical worlds come here to get their brew and you soon get wrapped up in keeping an eye on them for a government agency. One of the best things about Cafe Enchante is that the main character actually has her own personality. She's likeable and quick-witted which is something the game is full of with some nice light-hearted humor, a perfect refresher if you've just come off the back of something more serious in this list such as Color X Malice or Pure Fiore. Although the final route can get a little bit uh, tasty. This is a bit of a beast, maybe the longest visual novel on this list, and thankfully it is not a chore to get through. Steam Prison is another Otome that's set in a steampunk-like world, where there is a huge divide between the rich and the poor. The main girl here is a stoic young lady who wants to become a police officer, something thought much lower than she could have actually achieved. She's noble and wants to do the right thing, but she's also the biggest issue with this game as a whole. While the love interests here are fantastic, Cyrus is just a little bit too bland as a protagonist. Aside from that one issue, the rest of the game is really well put together, a very nice package with fantastic character designs from Ichiro Hako whose only game credit seems to be this one. It's got nice music with plenty of exclusive stuff for the Switch version such as new tracks and all new content. The Switch port is definitely the best way to play. This is available physically, but this particular one is an import exclusive. It's only available physically in Japan, but nicely enough, it does have English. If you want to import it, then consider checking the links below in the description. The same can be said for Bakumatsu Renka Shinsengumi. This is an import exclusive physical that does have English. This is from D3 Publisher who also published Nightshade. Now this is an old ass Otome. It was originally a PlayStation 2 game from 2004, but this Nintendo Switch remake is the first time we've been able to experience it in English. An interesting take of a female joining the Shinsugumi, which is sort of a police force during the feudal Japan era. 
and this game is perhaps somewhat dated and mild compared to some others on this list, mainly down to its age, but it is a fascinating premise nonetheless, and one that's worth experiencing if you're into the historical types. Plus, there are plenty of roots, and also it's an interesting look at how the genre has developed these past two decades. Olympia Soiree is a recently released visual novel on the Nintendo Switch. It has a fantasy setting and is one for those who just like full-on romance. There is some harshness to the overall plot, it involves race and segregation, where people are deemed superior to others due to the colour of their skin and eyes. Our protagonist is considered pretty much the purest of the pure, and will need to mate in order to keep her lineage going. Thankfully, Olympia is pretty proactive about the whole situation. Sadly, despite social issues presented here, these are not fully delved into or explored, but I guess it's not a game that's designed to lecture you about what is right or wrong, it's a piece of escapism, and Soiree pulls it off very nicely aside from maybe one really awkward ending which left many readers almost appalled. But aside from that one issue, it is a fantastic time with great music and unbelievable artwork from Satoi, best known for their work on the Diabolic Lover series. Cupid Parasite is set in the modern day of Lost York, and yes, that almost painful joke is pretty much what you'd expect from this Otome, but in a good way. It's practically the perfect rom-com if you're looking for laughs alongside your love. With a very unique premise about our protagonist working for a matchmaking company, she helps five young men to try and find love, and she's pretty good at it. Well, one would be if you were actually the goddess of love in disguise. Yes, you are literally Cupid fallen from the heavens. But now, you're a career-driven, hard-working gal who knows exactly what she wants. This Otomi is full of sass, style, jokes, and is very well written too. It's also a treat on the eyes with its use of bold colours. At the time of writing this video, the most recent Otome out on the Switch in English is Dairoko Agents of Sakuratani. And what a better way to end this video than with perhaps the great starter for the genre for someone looking to dip their toes into it. As far as games on this list go, it's pretty straightforward, although some may stumble at the many Japanese mythological terminologies used in this story. But this is really more about the characters than the overarching plot, so at least you can keep focused on the dudes rather than being distracted by something epic going on at the same time. It has a similar kind of theme to Cafe Enchante, where you are recruited to help keep an eye on other worldly beings. A safe entry point into the genre. And there we have it, visual novel fans. The best Otome visual novels on the Nintendo Switch. Which ones have you read? Which ones are on your reading list? Which is the next one you're going to pick up? Do let me know, and please tell me which ones I should add to this list later on. If you'd like to purchase any of these, then consider using the links in the description, as that does massively help support us by either buying physical versions or buying eShop credits. Please remember to subscribe, as we do want to grow, and we're also giving away a copy of Lyrica 1 and 2 on the Nintendo Switch once we get to 1,000 subscribers. Please spread the word and watch some of our other content that we plan on publishing.